Okay, make of this what you will. Our main power is 50 kilovolts, currently 2.4 milliamps. And on the little grid in the foreground, we have the output of a half of a 15 kilovolt neon sign transformer through a 0.01 microfarad capacitor. It is exhibiting self-rectification and right now is averaging minus 3.2 kilovolts. Now as the gas pressure is slowly rising here, we ought to start hearing some action on the um, neutron counter tube and start maybe seeing a little glow out of the grid. Uh, and away we go. Um, I think you can probably see the main grid lighting up now. And here come the neutrons. We're up to 14 milliamps on the main supply. It's starting to drag down in voltage. Now we're seeing seven negative kilovolts on the little grid and only 25 kilovolts on the main supply but listen to the neutron counter and guess what frequency it's counting at I don't do not believe this is noise very interesting hmm well I'm gonna turn put this camera down and adjust some things here let's just tap the uh, gas uh, suction button That just uh, momentarily opened a small valve between the turbo pump and the four pump so the gas pressure would go down a little bit. And maybe we can watch this evolve again. I can barely see visibly a, just a little bit of glow in the main grid and none on the supplementary grid. Here comes the gas back. Up to two and a half milliamps on the 50 kilovolt supply. Minus three kilovolts on the auxiliary grid average. It's uh, plus, you know, it's a seven and a half kilovolt AC drive through a 0.01 mic. And here we go again. I find it interesting what a good gas rectifier we've made by accident. It's very hard to drive that auxiliary grid positive. It sucks up so many electrons out of the soup when you do it. Discharges the capacitor. And here we go. We're at 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 millibar of deuterium. And it's running away, and by golly, I'm getting bubbles in the BTI as well. So there you have it. This is an interesting experiment. I'm not sure exactly what I'm proving here, but uh, it's data for you all. And at this point, we are 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 millibar on my Pfeiffer PKR251 gauge, which is known to read high on deuterium. Good night, all.